Uh, hi there all, this is Starlada and here is Bruno, famous statesman. Hi Bruno. Hi, how are you? I'm fine enough, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, we all know that you are from Argentina, but you live in, in Sweden now. Uh, so, tell us a secret, how many countries have you been to? I honestly lost count. I think at this point it's more than f between 40 and 50, I think. I've been everywhere in South America. I've been, of course, to North America and pretty much all of Western Europe. So, yeah, a lot of countries. I've traveled a lot, fortunately, and I, I want to keep traveling. Wow, so can you choose the favorite one? <sighs> it's, it's really hard. It depends. For example, if I want to go to the beach, I'll go to Mexico. They have the best beaches. If you want for living, I really, really like Sweden. Um, but for example, if I want to, what else can I say? Um, oh yeah, Italy to eat, because you eat amazing there. Uh, as I know, you visited the city center yesterday here in Kiev. I had a little tour uh, and you even tried borscht as I know. So can you share your emotions with us? Well, I mean, this is surprising because every time someone tells me um, what do you like to eat, I tell them I eat anything except red beets. So when they told me borscht has red beets, I'm like, I'm going to try it this time. I never eat red beets. And this is not because I don't like it. It's something that I didn't like to eat when I was a kid, when I was three. So I never ate it again. So I just had that because I wanted to have something that I would say I don't like that. Like, okay, I'm in Ukraine, it's a traditional dish, I'm gonna try it. And I loved it. I actually loved it. I enjoyed it a lot and Ina will not let me lie. I mean, she was with me, she will know that I finished the whole dish and I enjoyed it a lot. It's amazing. So, uh, what is the most difficult thing for you in your life in Sweden? Maybe it's extremely cold, I don't know. Uh, no, I actually like the cold. The, the darkness is a little bit depressing during the uh, winter. It, the, the sun, well, the, the sun doesn't even come up. It's cloudy all day, but it's bright at 11 in the morning and then it goes dark again at maybe 3, 4. So there's a period where it's really, really dark all day and it gets really sad. Most of the people at the house doesn't care because they're playing video games all day. But I'm a person that likes to go out, I like to go to the shop, I like to go to have a drink or something. And it's going out and saying, oh, it's clo everything is dark again, I don't want to. So yeah, that's a bit hard, maybe. Yeah, well, weather is always good for gamers. Uh, so you stay under the one roof with your colleagues. Is it hard? Uh, no, they're too respect. Everyone there is very respectful of each other. Um, the biggest problem is having James do his dishes because he always uses all the dishes and then he never cleans and you're trying to find the bowl. So you don't find it. You go to the dishwasher and it's not there. You go to the stand and it's not there in the shelf either. So you go to James' room and he has 10 dirty bowls. I was like, James, you should wash your dishes. But other than that, they're amazing people. Okay. Uh, everyone knows that uh, foreign players are very popular with uh, Ukrainian girls. So what about customers? Do you feel a lot of attention here from ladies? The girls here are so nice and warm, I have to say that. I've been welcomed from day one. Maybe some of the guys even didn't know who I was, so they were going to Toby and like, Toby, can you sign an outro? And they would look at me and like, who's this guy? But the girls from day one, they've been treating me amazing, so I can't complain, I want to come back soon. <laughs> that sounds nice. Uh, so you're pretty famous with your style, mm -hmm. and you maybe can be an expert in the sphere, I guess. So can you tell who is the most stylish daughter to player in the world? Wow. Um, okay, so there's not a single answer to that. I, I like Voss because he really likes wearing pink colors. He's not scared of using some colors that some people say, this is a bit weird, but he has this, uh, I, I would say like bravery of just not caring about what he wears. Uh, so there's him. Uh, then there's uh, PCT, it's a Chinese player that he likes wearing trench coats, kind of like Matrix. And normally they look kind of weird, but on him they look really good because he has this kind of old man face. And that, and it, like a fedora and the trench coat, he looks like a mafia guy. So he, he sports that really, really well. And maybe um, 
And then Aki. Aki is a guy that always is impeccably dressed. The hair is perfect. He's always having this look like... Uh, can, can I say Aki is my favorite as well? Yeah, he is. <laughs> he, he looks really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many customs uh, you got? How many custom what? Yeah, uh, clothing. I'm sorry, what? C come again. Costumes. How oh, many costumes you got? Costumes, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I lost count, really. I have, I think about, I have between eight and ten suits and jackets here. Uh, and I, maybe I have the same in Argentina that I couldn't bring anything with me. So maybe next, next time I will bring. But I try to buy something every couple months. For TI, for example, for TI3, I um, bought four new suits for me. So every single time, whenever I see something that's really nice, and it doesn't happen often, because you can't go to the supermarket and it's like, hey, gave me a yellow suit, because they don't sell it everywhere. But every time I find something interesting, I will go and buy it. And just a few days ago, unfortunately, I couldn't buy it for Stalada because I had to order it online. But I saw some amazing suits that I'm going to buy soon, and you will see it, and then you'll tell me if you like them or not. Uh, you're not only fashion guru, but stats guru as well. So why stats? Why do you like numbers? Um, well, my background as a computer scientist makes me that I, I always been into math and physics and chemistry and all that stuff, computers as well, of course. But um, actually, the stats were kind of a coincidence. Uh, when Dota 2 just came out, we were uh, thinking with a couple friends that back then were working for Gozu Gamers, uh, how we could make the scene look more professional, how could we make it look more like real sports. And the casting was perfect, the atmosphere from everything around it was good. It was like, we can add something to the casting and that could be statistics, because when you watch a football match, a basketball match, there's some way, like, there's always this guy that knows, oh, this player played for the first time in 2004 in this team and he scored two goals, blah, blah, blah. So there was always a guy that knows about that. It's like, well, we can bring that into Dota as well. So we started getting a database with all this cool information and it took some time, but then first a couple English casters started using it and now pretty much everyone uses it. And it's really cool because it makes the games more fun to watch, in my opinion. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, what is the most crazy statistic fact you ever found? Um, well, for the longest time, Bloodseeker didn't win any single game. I know Bloodseeker is kind of a bad hero, and I hope he gets buffed soon, because I really like to play with him. It's fun in puffs, but you never ever see it in, uh, in competitive. It took it actually more than a year, right uh, when TI2 came out, for Bloodseeker to win a game. He was played maybe three or four times in the whole year and he always, always lost. So I'm happy because eventually he could break that curse. Uh, there are a lot of guests from Russia at Starladder as well. And uh, how do you think, is there any difference between Russians and Ukrainians? Uh, I mean, you got me there because I'm trying to get in touch with the players and the Russian language is such a barrier that sometimes when I talk to some Russian and Ukrainian players, uh, some of them, they don't feel too comfortable with their English, so I can't really get to know them very well. Maybe I go like, hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, good, good. And they just go somewhere else. So I'm actually, one thing I'm trying to do while I'm here is getting to know more of the players. But right now, I got to meet most of the Ukrainian guys. I talked with the guys from Roskis that were here. Uh, I am really good friends with Goblak as well, who's not playing, right? but he was around. And of course, who boss and Dendi. Uh, and now, now I'm getting to know Fanny as well. I, I think the Ukrainian players are super, super fun. Uh, in terms of the Russian ones, the only one I can really say I know that I talk with him a lot is PGG. And he's a really special one, so I'm not sure if he qualifies as all the Russian players in the world. Yes, he's. And uh, the last question, it's a question for all the girls who are watching us. Yes. Uh, are you single? Um, most of the time, it's not all night, but uh, yeah. I, I would say yes. Okay, thank you for that funny interview. No problem. Good luck. It was nice having you here. <laughs>